through for the ages, Israeli researchers recreate ancient fear. Jerusalem Israeli researchers raised the glass on Wednesday to celebrate a long brewing project of making beer and meat using yeast extracted from ancient clay vessels from over 5,000 years old. Archaeologists and microbiologists from the Israel Antiquities Authority and four Israeli universities teamed up to study yeast colonies found in microscopic cores and pottery fragments. The shards were found at Egyptian, Philistine and Judean archaeological sites in Israel spanning from 3000 BC to the 4th century BC. Experimental archaeology The scientists are counting the brood made from resurrected yeast as an important step in experimental archaeology, a field that seeks to reconstruct the past in order to better understand the flavor of the ancient world. What we discovered was that yeast can actually survive for a very, very long time without food, said Hebrew University microbiologist, Michael Klutstein. Today we are able to salvage all these living organisms that lie inside the nanopores and to revive them and study their properties. Beer was a staple of the daily diet for the people of ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. Early Egyptian texts refer to a variety of different foods, including iron beer, French beer, and beer of the protector. The yeast samples came from nearly two dozen ceramic vessels found in excavations around the country, including a salvage dig in central Tel Aviv, a Persian Arab palace in southern Jerusalem and Embetter, a 5,000, hyphen year old Egyptian brewery near Israel border with the Gothic Grid. The project was spearheaded by Hebrew University microbiologist Ronan Hayden and Antiquities Authority archaeologist Hugh Pastan. Other researchers of ancient years, such as University of Pennsylvania archaeologist Patrick McGovern, have concocted drinks based on ancient recipes and residue analysis of ceramics. Jurassic Park, to a point that the Israeli scientists say that this is the first time fermented drinks have been made from revived ancient yeast. Aaron Mayer, a Bar Ilan University archaeologist, excavates at Tel Eskati, the biblical city of Gad, where ancient Philistine beer pot yielded, yeast used to brew a beer offered to journalists. He likened the revival of long dormant yeast to the resurrection of ancient beasts fictionalized in Jurassic Park, but only to a point. In Jurassic Park, the dinosaur eat the scientists, he said. Here, the scientists drink the dinosaurs. It opens up a whole new field of the possibility that perhaps other microorganisms survive as well, and you can identify foods such as cheese, wine, pickles, opening a portal into tasting cultures of the past, he said. Ancient flavors for this initial experiment, the team paired up with a Jerusalem craft brewer to make a basic modern style ale using yeast extracted from the pot. The ale had a thick white head, with a caramel color and a distinctly funky nose. The meat, made using yeast extracted from a vessel found in the ruins of a palace near Jerusalem that contained honey wine roughly 2,400 years ago, was champagne bubbly and dry, with a hint of green apple. The beer incorporates modern ingredients, like hops, that were not available in the ancient Middle East but is to revive yeast that provides much of the flavor. Nathy describes the beer as spicy, and somewhat fruity, and is very complex in flavor, all attributes produced by the ancient yeast. Katie, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.